welcome everyone. Hello, uh, my name is Eleni Summershields. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at Wise Agent. And today I have um, James Raffner um, with Skyslope. He's a Senior Account Executive at Skyslope with us. Um, we're gonna be talking about our integration um, together. And so um, the integration between Wise Agent and Skyslope and what that means for you all and what um, privileges you guys were going to be getting. Hi, Catherine. Um, so welcome, everyone. Um, welcome, James. Oh, you're on mute. Hi, everybody. It's nice to virtually meet you all. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, James. And James. And so um, everyone um, probably already knows I'm here in our office in Fountain Hills, Arizona. And James, you're in the office in Sacramento, Sacram right? Yeah, downtown Sacramento here. I could see the stadium from a from my desk. Awesome. Yes. So um, it's nice to be in the office. I'm sure, right? It's um, but um, yeah. So we're going to be talking today about um, how the integration between Wise Agent and SkySlope work. Um, how you can be getting your forms in, um, sending out digital, sending out your forms for transactions out with digital signature through SkySlope and um, a whole bunch of other stuff that, um, and some best practices for starting and managing transactions through Skyslope and Wise Agent. So um, a couple of housekeeping things to go through. We are recording this webinar. So if you have to um, kind of step away to take a call or, or send a text, no big deal, we're recording this. You'll, everyone will get the recording in their inbox as soon as we're done. Um, we're also live on Facebook, so you can go back and watch the replay on Facebook as well. And um, what was the other thing? Um, you have the Q&A section in the bottom of your Zoom that you can ask any questions and we'll reply there. Um, we'll also reply um, live as well. And you can also submit questions in the chat. So if you have any questions, feel free to, um, to post them there. You guys wouldn't mind just posting what city and state that you're from and what brokerage that you're with. That would be fantastic. It's always nice to um, to know who we're talking to as well. So, um, um, and I know we have some questions that you guys have already have asked before we started the webinar. So we're going to go through those questions as well. Okay. So um, here we go. We've got um, from Scott from Birmingham, Alabama. That's awesome. Uh, not been to Alabama before, so it's a um, love your AZ cactus shirt, James. Oh, see, you're representing Arizona for us. There you go. <laughs> Hundred percent, and I also grew up in Palm Springs as well, so I'm I'm, I'm familiar with the desert. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we're we're rooting. You're rooting on the suns, hopefully tonight too. <laughs> oh, all the way. All the way. Awesome. Alrighty, so well, let's get started. Um, and I'll be um, I'll be sending I'll be sharing my screen as well, so everyone can um, can see what the integration looks like. Um, so I'm going to do that actually right now, so you guys can see where you could go from within Wise Agent to get this integration going. All right, so hopefully you can see my screen here. All right things around. So from our um, integrations, um, from our menu here, you just click on integrations and click on settings. And what you'll see here once um, is you'll see it's a sky slope right here. Um, and this is a demo account. So the account is already active. And basically, it'll just say, you know, activate and you'll click on that button and it'll activate um, the widget. Right. And I know that this is something, James, that your team has worked on really hard to um, get this really um, great tool within um, within Wise Agent. So just makes really making a starting a transaction really easy and seamless. Mm -hmm. And so when I go to contact, um, when I go to a specific contact, what you'll see is once I have this um, integration activated is you'll see this little button down here. Um, and basically, when you click that button, the widget pops up where I can write a listing or an offer or send, um, send documents out for signature. So James, can you tell us, I know some of the questions have been about um, sending out signatures. How easy is it to, um, to send out documents and do those documents have to be within my Skyslope uh, Sky account? 
Yeah, so great, great question. Thanks. So, um, so you don't have to be a SkySub user user, obviously uses widget. If you're using a different program or a different way to get your forms, you're more, more than welcome to use our free tool here. You would just click the send the widget button right there and you can either download, upload or drag and drop those specific documents you want. And it'll actually shoot over to our own digital signature platform called DigiSign and you can send it out to your clients that way. The idea here is, especially with the widget, is that we want to minimize how many times you, you all are jumping back and forth between tabs. We know, again, it's cliche, but time is money in business. Yeah. You want your business to keep thriving and, that, and keep going there. So by utilizing this widget here, keeping everything all on one screen at one time, it's going to save you all a ton of time when it comes to kind of dealing with your clients and working that way. Yeah, and and I know that with, um, you know, when you're sending out things for signature and sometimes um, if you have a form, maybe your your broker is giving you a form that you need to have somebody sign or maybe you're using some other tool. Um, we're also integrated with a couple of other um, technologies that might provide forms for you. You could still send those out through SkySlope. Is that correct for signature? Yeah, 100%. There's no, there's no restriction on what could be brought into that widget right there. Yeah, that's awesome. So I really would just click on this. Who's your client? Um, just get this all out there. And then um, I could even add, add a spouse's information in here and then just really go through this process and it would um, send out the documents that I need um, out for signature. Mm -hmm. and, and then for... Um, writing a listing, um, really it would just be as easy as what's the property address that you're listing, right? So um, it's just as simple as that. So let's just do, um, let's do this one on, on Shay. And it's nice, it's got, you guys are using that Google address so it autofills, right? Yeah, and I, I saw there was a question about that Google integration. We do, I, as you just noticed there, obviously we, we have that Google integration with maps there to so auto-populate right away. Yeah, yeah. And so then um, I can come in here and put in Michael Phelps and um, um, and so this is a widget. So there is no, um, you know, normally we wouldn't have to type so many things out, but right now there is no, um, you'd have to manually type these things out and or copy and paste um, the email address or the the um, client information, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then once you get that, then um, then the list of forms comes up. Yeah, and obviously seeing that it's an Arizona property there and we have the Arizona forms already inside the system, keeps it really easy because it just gives you a recommendation and it understands what, it, what forms you're trying to send out. Okay, so if I put an address for, you know, somewhere in Tennessee, it would have given me like Memphis, Tennessee, it would have given me the Tennessee forms or whatever. Yeah, yeah, if you do the, like California, Nevada, Washington, Texas, using those addresses right there where, where our forms are within those states, would it give you all the recommended, recommended forms for that specific transaction or, or offering you're trying to do. Okay. Nice. And so, um, and are these forms, could I, um, so once I click on this, um, on this, let's say agency disclosure, I can, and I can click on multiple. Yep. hundred percent. And it'll, it'll, then it'll design a, like a quote unquote little template and pa a packet for you. So when you're sending out to the clients, it's really nice and easy. Okay. And then from yeah. right there, right? Mm -hmm. so, so you have a couple options to sign up or sign in, right? So if you're a SkySub user, like I saw in the, in the chat that we had somebody from EXP, obviously you have the SkySub account to your disposal all you would all you would do is hit sign uh sign in right there type in your skysip credentials and it'll shoot you right over to your um your forms um interface your forms homepage. but like i mentioned before this is all free to use so if you're not a skysip user and you just want to utilize this tool here to help save you some time hit sign up mm -hmm. okay and then it opens up i don't know if you can see the modal it brought up or not Motion. I can't see the modal. Yeah, I'm only sharing. I should one ask, right? Should ask like email, uh, create a password, and once you create a password, mm -hmm. it'll shoot, it'll get you all signed up, and you can hop on over to your SkySlope homepage, forms homepage there. Okay, nice. 
Nice. And then, and then you're able to send out that those documents for um, for signatures or write up that listing or whatever it is that you're doing. Correct. And then, and then you can shoot it over there as well um, to that digital signature platform too. Another cool thing when you get inside the forms there is that we have we tap into the MLSs. So usually, like you're on the buying side, right? So the MLS is already on on, on the page. You type in that MLS number. It'll auto actually auto populate all the all those information inside the form. So when you're filling out the form, it'll save you some time or a ton of time when it comes to filling everything out because it'll type in like listing date, expiry pricing, and, and all that jazz. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And so what we've done really is, I mean, this is just really a great way to be able to quickly make, um, you know, get started with this transaction. So you're able to free up some time. You're not wasting a lot of time doing double entry. You're not doing a lot, of, you know, wasting a lot of time with, you know, um, finding all your forms. It's just really these integrations um, in this widget is a really great way of, of just making things a lot more streamlined for agents. So they're able to just you know, get on with the transaction and um, and then use our, our transaction management within Wise Agent even to keep them on track with, um, you know, with the process. So because we do have the, um, the integration also integrated or the widget integrated within our transaction management here. So within our checklist, so if I've created a checklist for a property, let's say it's a, um, you know, someone's purchasing a property, um, I also have the integration, we have the integration here as well for you. So if you're going through and you're um, getting all of your, um, you know, um, your transaction going through here, um, we also have the SkySlope integration here for you to use as well. So you click on that gear and SkySlope. And again, you can go through and send your forms out um, from here while you're also getting all of this stuff in here. As well, so you can have your template set up to say, you know, send out for signature using SkySlope, and it really makes it easy um, for you to do that. So if you have a transaction coordinator or somebody, um, they have the ability of doing that within um, within this area as well. Um, I know there's been um, a couple of questions. Um, you know, someone was asking. Um, where are the forms being pulled from? Are they already um, in SkySlope or how is that, um, how does that work? So yeah, we're pulling the forms from the different associations and MLSs that we have partnerships with at the moment. And we're pulling those forms library, the, the, their, their form library. So that's how we're pulling the forms from. And then I know one big thing, I know a lot of people probably are licensed in multiple states within this yeah. program as well as you have the ability to set up the SkySlope account to access the different forms you use in the different states. So if you're selling in both Arizona, and Nevada and California, you could set it up where all your forms from those various states are all right there for your convenience. Okay. And, um, and you can add your own forms, correct? So you can say like we, we've mentioned, um, a broker is giving you, um, your broker is giving you a form that you need to have filled out and maybe it's some kind of PDF or something um, that they, that they give you, you can send that all through, um, through this widget. And is that just, yes. Little, can you, it can is, you show that on your screen? Do you have, are you able to set that? Yeah, let me, uh, yeah, I, I, I can, I can pull it out right now. So let me, let me pull up my, my, my demo account for the, okay. for the widget. Um, okay. Because I think you had mentioned that they can use like just their Dropbox account and they can connect from there or something. Yeah, so here it's right here, right? So my, my you guys can see my screen moving around, right? Yeah. Perfect. So we have my, our, our CRM, our fancy CRM that we're calling it here for the demo account when we're showing this. So if I'm gonna help my buddy Richard here, so we just help Michael, I'll help Richard out. So I'll just write an offer. Um, I'll, I'll actually show you, I'll show you too, that MLS I'm talking about, which I think is really great. The MLS number there, that you'll have access to. Okay. So boom, so I put an MLS number here, right? So that drops down and everything auto-populates. You'll have, be able to, be able to do. 
then I'll just pull Richard's information from the page here. Suggesting forms, I'm just gonna do next real quick, kind of so I can speed that up. Then I'll just sign in, right? So I'll, I'll right. wait, I'll actually sign up. So let me create an account so people can see what that looks like. So I'll just do JRafter2121, um, Jimmy R. Register. Signing in. Open forms. So I'm going to open the form inside here. Okay. <clears throat> then right here, upload documents. So I can either add forms for my libraries or I can upload documents like, like you can see me drag and drop this senior disclosure or upload another one as well. So like I said, if you're using dot loop, um, zip forms is obviously because we do it, we work with them on the transaction management side as well. So we have the partnership with them to bring in the different forms or you can obviously pull forms out of your own libraries. Okay. That's great. Yeah, we, then, we also integrate with dot loop so you can so you can pull in your forms from dot loop or even zip forms plus right if you've got your forms from them, you can pull mm -hmm. in those forms from there. Mm -hmm. And then obviously if you're using those, those similar things are going to have this we're going to have the same functionality when it comes to creating templates. So if you do choose to use the sky soap forms in the state in the states that we offer, you can just design these templates right here to make it really easy to upload and attach to the certain properties that you're dealing with on the day to day. Okay. And then like that, like I'll just say sellers continue. And then well, libraries, like I mentioned here, this is where you can add your different libraries from the different okay. um, states that were here. So that's how you could do it all within the sky slope form functionality there by uploading your different um, forms. But I'll let's see my screen back to you, Alina. Okay, sure, awesome. And so sure. um, so are you guys integrated? I know um, a couple of people are asking if you're integrated with Houston's um, MLS. Are you so we have Texas Realtors, Houston MLS. I could tell you that I'm on the ne negotiation side of it. We're obviously talking with the, um, the association board. So, and the MLS board there about getting the forms licensed, as well as potentially um, getting, um, being being the provider. So it's all, it's looking more like Q4 for Houston. Okay, awesome, awesome. So um, coming soon for Houston. Yeah, um, but, awesome. it, but in the meantime, I believe that like Houston is dot loop. So if you're using dot loop forms, like, like we just showed you, you can pull in dot loop forms inside the system. Okay. Yeah, so you can pull in any forms and it doesn't really even have to be um, dot loop. It could be if you're using um, transaction desk or um, zip forms, you know, zip forms plus or whoever, you can also get those um, in here. And um, we have that integration with both um, dot loop with zip forms plus where you can get those um, as well. Um, I know there's a lot of questions on, um, you know, which associations that you guys are getting the forms from. Is there an easy way for them to find? Um, I know, like someone's asking, um, Mitzi's asking if Al you are associated with Albuquerque, and um, is there a way where they could go to Sky Slope and how they would be able to find that out? It'll be on that form section right there. It'll, when you drop down the library, it, it, it will show you. Uh, what what uh, different associations you are we are associated with right right now? So I'm actually just going to get something up right here to kind of sh show you. And I'll, I'll show my screen again, just so okay. I kind of give it give it a sense here. Okay. But Al Albuquerque, same thing with with Houston. It's all about negotiating with it, with the uh, different MLS wards and associations. So I mean, I don't know if how, how often you deal with them from time to time. It's it's a lot of back and forth about getting the form as licensed and kind of right the right timing. So some states were quicker to get to other states like uh, California and Car. We've been working for a long time and we just released that about three months ago. So we're we're, we're trying our hardest. Okay. Okay. Um, but even if they're not um, in the association that um, let's say somebody um, is with, um, that's just them getting the access to their forms. They can still use SkySlope. Is that correct? Yeah, hundred percent. So you you can pull in the different forms like we're mentioning, and you can use this system even without sky soap forms. Utilize the free digital signature. So if, if you're using like I I know 
Docu DocuSign might cost money. If you want to save a little money here, you're more than welcome to use this DigiSign as a kind of as an alternative. Okay. okay. And then okay. I and then I have right here as a different associations we have right here that I can kind of give a brief rundown of what we have. If, you, if I if I if I could take over. Yeah. If you want to share your screen, go for it. Yeah. So right here. So add an association. So obviously these are the ones that connected that I use a lot of my demos. But here's a drop down of the different ones we have. So all I know all of Arizona, California, um, Washington, and Oregon. So a lot of the West Coast states, we already have all the MLSs and associations on there. So that's great. Texas, I, I know we have a ton there. Virginia and Maryland are were the newer ones in Massachusetts as well. Um, Cincinnati, we just added Cincinnati this week, actually. So we're kind of we're really excited about that because uh, you know they they were a big dot loop city. So I mean, we're adding our forms there as well for our clients in Cincinnati. But these okay. are what we have right now as forms wise in the boards and MLSs and associations we have partnerships with. Okay, so it does seem like you do already have um, the Houston ones. So um, I think Catherine, um, I we already yeah. have you. They already have um, Houston. I thought I saw Houston up there somewhere. Um, but if I could run my app a bit. Yeah, we yeah. do have Houston. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, so that's awesome. awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, and then, um, and so when they go to SkySlope, is this, are you in a logged in state here? Are you logged into your account? I'm, yeah, I'm logged into my Good Morning James account. So this is my okay. account that I use in my demos. And then you as, as yeah. you're seeing, as you're seeing here, so when you're generating the forms as you do more and more using the wise agent um, widget that's going to be attached to the integration you'll have all your forms loaded up here in the library just kind of so you could navigate between it all and you have the ability to kind of download get into these type of things so this is what it would look like as you're generating different forms and documents and disclosures inside of it okay and and so from um sorry if we um if i can have you go oh, back to sorry. that if because they can create the SkySlope account and it would be free for them to create the account, right? Yes. And, and the widget free is from free. The to, yeah, to create the SkySlope Forms account, 100%. So you have the SkySlope Forms account right there. And then like the, like EXP, right? If once they're done with the forms and they want to shoot over to their SkySlope platform, they can utilize this apps function right here and get shot over to their, their SkySlope main. And that's this, this is the one that's going to cost money but the SkySilk forms right here, this is a free account they can sign up for using that widget. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. And um, so there's a couple of questions on how do they get to this on um, the wise agent side. So I'm gonna share my screen um, and show that one more time here. So, so from and, wise and agent, then, yeah, go ahead. And then I saw about Idaho again. Idaho, the same, same situation as we're, we're dealing with the Idaho Association of Realtors and just waiting for them to, to get, um, just to get the go ahead so we can get their form sent to us and we can start our product team on mapping them out. Awesome, awesome, perfect. Um, so um, yeah, so I wanted to share my screen to um, show everyone how to get this, um, the widget installed on, um, on your Wise Agent account here. So you would go to, from the top bar here in the integrations, um, you would go to integration settings. And from this settings page, you would go um, and click on the sky slope. I got some stuff in the way here. And right here, so I can, I'll go ahead and disconnect this and I'll reconnect it. Hopefully it works again. Sometimes these live demos, you gotta love. Um, let me just make sure that we reload here. And, and so it'll just say activate sky slope. And so once I click this button, um, it will activate. I can't see what's happening here. And now I can go to either um, my a checklist page here. So I can click on checklist. And when I click on the gear, I'll see where it says sky slope. So from um, your wise agent account, from your transaction um, checklist, you can, you know, go to your sky slope widget and, you know, write a listing, write an offer or send out for signatures. The same if I go to a contact, so if I go to Michael Phelps, um, so I can, I have the widget again, right here on the 
lower right hand side of my screen, I could just go ahead and click on this and the widget opens up and has, you know, send for signatures, um, write the offer, write the listing. Um, so you can have that um, right away here and it's it's just a great easy way of, of connecting. There's already so many things that you do during the transaction process. This is a nice way of getting things kind of started um, without you having to go through a lot of different, um, you know, different applications. We have this nice single sign-on between um, Wise Agent and SkySlope. So um, it really helps with that. Um, all right. And so I know um, some other questions were, you know, how do you, um, how do you use this to generate leads? Um, and so I know James, did you want to did you want to take that on? Um, um, yeah. So nice uh, point of view. Yeah. So you can create your transaction, your offer, your listing, everything inside of Sky is up there. And then once it, once it's registered and created, you you have it right. You have them on your home screen that I showed you, and then you can utilize Wise Agent as well to kind of generate that lead plan of constantly falling back up and. And, and doing what you, you you do well. Yeah. And then from the wise agent perspective, I mean, the, um, the, the widget really doesn't, you know, generate any leads. The, the integration isn't more lead generation. What it is, is, um, you know, it's just kind of um, taking it from, from the lead to being um, a client. Um, but then, you know, as I tell everyone, after you, you've gone through a transaction with someone, you want to make sure that you set them up where you know you've maybe um, gone under contract, you know, change their status, update their status to maybe close status. You've closed a transaction with them, um, and then get this, you know, get this person now back on a drip campaign. Um, you know, maybe have them start on a drip campaign after a month or two, um, giving them maybe some CMAs, emails, sending them up some emails, um, just keeping them current with you and what you're doing in your business. Definitely having them on your um, marketing plan, so sending them a monthly newsletter. Um, so we write those in English, Spanish. We even have one for the Canadian market. Making sure that you're keeping up with that on all of your marketing tools. So that would be within Wise Agent. Um, and then as far as lead generation, you could use our landing pages to generate leads. Um, so then you go through um, the whole marketing process within your Wise Agent account, and once they get um, from a lead to start converting them to a client and going through an offer um, or a purchase, that's when you would use the integration with SkySlope to, um, to get that, that process going a lot, um, you know, in that direction. Um, so you could use our landing pages for, um, for generating leads. And so this is a um, multi-page um, landing page for you to you know, promote all the properties that you are, um, that you have listed. So that's how that would work. Um, let's see if we have any other questions. Uh, I see some, some in here as well. Um, do, um, <laughs> can you just tell us a little bit of um, best practices for using the, um, that widget? Um, James. Yeah, well, yeah, best practices is just, uh, I would utilize it as much as possible. So you're not bouncing back and forth between your different pages or your different tabs that you have open. We want, we want you guys to be in one location as much as possible. So to save you as much time as possible, uh, save you as much time. So yeah. best practices, just continue using that. It's, it's a, it's, it's free tool that we're offering and that YZ is offering as well. That's really going to make sure to streamline the whole process when it comes to getting listings and offers and other various documents to your clients. Yeah. And now if um, their broker uses um, a SkySlope account, but they don't have SkySlope, is this something that they would be attached, would be able to be attached to that, their broker? Yeah. So how we do, obviously how we do things at SkySlope is the brokerage would buy the account and they would have access to SkySlope. So mm -hmm. it makes it even more streamlined right there. So they can write an offer and as well submit it to their broker just all by using that widget. So it really makes it super easy for the agent to not constantly have to be, I know, I know it keeps being redundant, but not constantly have to be on the different web pages that it seems like we're doing right now in this industry. You could be on wise agent, wise, wise agent only and send offers, write offers, and then 
listings offers and then also submit them to your broker at the same time if you if they're a sky sub customer okay nice and so that would happen automatically so if i um write up mm -hmm. an offer um and it's attached to my broker they'll be able to see it for review process and everything else yeah as sky sub uh, customers know it'll be in their in their design checklist that they have right there that they can send over to their broker from the sky sub account correct nice nice um, another question that's coming in, is there a way to send alerts or appointments um, to clients as reminders? I think that was probably for wise agent. Um, yes, so there is definitely um, a way to do that. So if let's say I'm talking to Michael Phelps here, close out this widget, and I'm you know scheduling an appointment with him, or maybe we've been texting back and forth, um, you know, like you know, does you know 10 a.m. on Tuesday maybe tomorrow's Thursday, Thursday, um, work to see um, 123 Main Street. If he replies back saying yes, then um, I can go ahead and just really easily and quickly, um, you know, say showing, you know, 123 Main Street um, or whatever it is. And then I can go ahead and set this up for, um, you know, whatever time, I think I said it was going to be 10 a.m., um, I can set this up to have that um, showing um, sent to him. And so as soon as I click on save, it will automatically, um, it'll ask me if I want to send an invitation. So that would be their, um, their kind of reminders. They'll have that calendar invite there. You can also um, send an email um, and I can have that scheduled to go out. So I can write up my message saying, you know, see you at 10 o'clock. Um, and I can send this out um, at maybe 9.15, just saying, you know, quick reminder, we're meeting at, you know, whatever, um, meeting at 123 Main Street. So I can write out a whole, um, a whole email here um, as a reminder, and it'll be scheduled to go out at the appropriate time. And then that will go out to him kind of as a reminder to meet me at that showing. Um, so that's how that would work. Um, so definitely there is a way for, um, for that. So hopefully that, that answers your question there, Steve. Um, a couple of more questions here. So would you create the offer in Skyslope and not within um, the widget within Wise Agent? Is that also doable and then see it? Yeah, you obviously like you click the, you could click the little widget there and you can create the offer within that widget there and then it'll just shoot you over to that to that sky soap forms homepage to to complete the, the rest of the process to send out the digit sign yeah hopefully awesome. that answers that yeah um i think so hopefully and if not pamela let us know if you need clarification on that um is there a way to send forms um to the seller to fill out prior to signing so if it's just yeah. more than just signatures yeah 100%. So again, as, as you're filling out that form and then you're mapping out and utilizing DigiSign like any other signature platform, you can set it up to how you, how you need it done for that particular document or disclosure you're sending to your client there. Okay. So that you can say, you know, um, put in your initials here, put in your, um, mm -hmm. you know, your pet's names or whatever information you'll need in there. Probably yeah. not pet's names, but yeah. Couldn't think of anything else. Yeah. Have, have, DigiSign will have all that functionality that you're getting from DocuSign. We actually brought over one of the DocuSign's product people to head DigiSign 3.0, the one that you'll be using within the widget. And it, we've added all the necessary functionality that um, you, you've seen and used in love with DocuSign. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, and that's that's a, um, a great way of, um, of getting um, some, some of that product um that's already been out there like docusign is a, a great product so you guys did some great market research there yeah yeah i mean they're they're, they're the standard when it comes to obviously signature for, for a lot of industries right so right. might as well kind of pick their brain or get, get, get the get their best to help help us out here yeah exactly and we're also integrated wise agent is also integrated with docusign as well so 
um, you, you have multiple um, ways of doing it. So um, the, the great thing about these integrations that we work on with companies like Skyslope and, and DocuSign is really making things really easy and seamless for the agents. So they're able to, so you guys are able to save a lot of time and energy. So you're not having to, you know, remember your login and, and go through and, and go to Skyslope. You, you've got this way of doing it really seamlessly to um, help with that process. Um, so, yeah. And I know there's another question here. Can we attach forms that are not in the MLS to um, the contract? Um, yeah, again, 100%. So you could add any form that you deem necessary, part of that specific packet that you want to send to that client. So if it's not MLS form, and maybe it's like an own broker form that you use at your office or something that you, you drafted up yourself, attach it to this whole process while you're adding to the form field. Yeah, and you can do multiple um, documents, sending the multiple documents out for signature. It doesn't have to just be one document at a time. No, yeah, you, it, it, it'll be all nice loaded up on a screen there after you completed filling it out, and then you can select each document you wanna send out and it just generates a packet to send to your client. Okay, and you'll be able to um, save those forms for future use. So if it's a PDF that I created myself for something that's totally local to my area, is that something that I'd be able to save in my Skyslope account? Yeah, so you, you could put it in your template right there and save it within those templates that you're able to draft up and create. Or if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, or if you're a broker that utilizes Skyslope on, on the transaction management side, you actually have the ability to put in your own forms that we map out and update for you as well. So that's an added bonus for having Skyslope on the DT, uh, transaction management side, that so we'll actually put your specific brokerage forms inside the inside the platform for you. Nice. And so those brokerage forms. So let's say um, you're the broker. I'm your agent. Um, if you put that in your Skyslope library, when I log into mm -hmm. my Skyslope account, I'll have access to all of those forms within the library for the brokerage. Yeah, it'll also be all mapped out as well, and we'll do all the updating for you. So you can obviously save a PDF off the bat, and you, you can you can do it that way. Or mm -hmm. if you're a SkySub customer and you've used it before, our SkySub customer with access to it will actually do the whole thing and put it to your library, fillable forms, and all that jazz, all the cool features. Nice, nice, awesome. Mm -hmm. um, that's fantastic. I um, I do see somebody's asking to to go back um, to show something again. I don't recall what I was showing. Um, so if Yvonne, if you wanna. Be specific on what you wanted me to show. I'm happy to do so, um, but I'll go ahead and share my screen. I'm not sure if it was, um, you know, while well, I was on a contact summary page here, um, where you know where I was showing the the widget. Um, this is um, the widget here where you would be able to see. So if you don't see this little um, sky slope symbol here the bottom right hand corner of your screen when you go into a contact summary page that means that your integration is not set up you haven't you know you haven't installed the um, widget to um, YZ and you haven't connected that and all you would have to do is simply go to integrations and click on settings and um, and then you would go to sky slope and this is where you'll see um, it would say activate and you would just activate that okay um, let's see, Vaughn said, it's the landing pages where you can upload your new listing. Oh, sure, I can show um, landing pages. So um, Wise Agent has a ton of marketing materials for you to use in order to, um, you know, obviously help convert your leads into clients. So when we have, um, when you're getting leads in, you can um, use our drip campaigns, our monthly newsletters, our printing of postcards, um, our letters, email letters, as well as property flyers that you can create. But we also have landing pages for you um, to create as well. So you can um, use our templates from here to create like an open house, a home valuation, um, tips for selling, single property pages, multiple property pages. Um, you have, I think we just added a few more templates here. So um, we have lead magnets that we have already predetermined for you um, where you could use our lead rules and set that all up for you as well. So this is a really great way our, our marketing team has put this all together, including the lead magnet portion. So um, being um, you would just create this landing page and you would post this 
on social media, either on Facebook. We have a direct integration with Facebook where you could post this. Um, you could post this on Instagram, Twitter, wherever it is. Um, and then what you would do is then set up a rule um, within Wise Agent from your lead rules to say anytime someone um, uses that source, um, uses that landing page, what you'll do is you'll send them that content. So this is five mistakes sellers make. Um, don't, you know, don't fall victim to these mistakes. And so you're basically saying, I will give you a guide on how to not make these mistakes as a seller. And so when I go into my lead rules, I will use the um, content that we've created here, our email templates um, with the infographics to be able to see this, um, this document. So then they'll get it as soon as they fill out the information, because um, the point of the landing page is to capture people's um, contact information to help um, to capture that lead. And then in exchange, you're giving them this, um, this informational tool for them, this, this document here and what not to do. And so you've exchanged this document for their, um, for their contact information and you, you'll get them in as a lead. So that's how that would work. Um, but our landing page wizard, it just has a whole bunch of different um, templates for you to use. You can have reviews, you can have client appreciation invites, all sorts of different tools for you. Um, so hopefully um, that explained it for you, um, Yvonne, hopefully um, that was that. Um, and then Chantal is asking, can you show how to fill forms prior to signing them? Um, James, is that yeah, something that you can show on your end? Yeah, let me uh, let me take let me take over here. Okay. Share screen. So yeah, so I have it right here, right? So fill in form before. So I'm creating my file, right? So I have this page right here. I use Oprah for my demos, but I'm going to show you something as well because I would have have her auto populate. Because she makes me she would make me a lot of money, right? If I was a real estate agent, right? <laughs> Maybe she's watching. Um, yeah. But so cool thing. So I mentioned the MLS data, right? So if I have an MLS number, right, right, I can just put it in, click it, import. It's going to put all that information in here. So I want to name this Oprah W. So here's my template. And now that'll be shot over to that I can keep mentioning this section here with all those different forms, right? And then through your template, you, you would even have the ability to add additional forms. Say if you need like a lead paint, say this house was what, like, 1965, I know I need a lead paint disclosure and it's not part of this said template, you could add it this way. Or we keep mentioning broker specific forms or other people's forms that aren't part of the MLS they want to upload, you can upload the document here as well. So that's how you could continue creating this packet with inside this sky of form section, but the fillable forms part, you just click into it. And you just start drafting things up like you normally would. So this is gonna be a million dollars for Oprah. And all this here will be fillable, right? It's all mapped out for how you're currently filling out your current forms, just to keep the transition easy. So that's how it'll look like before you send out the signatures, drafting up these different disclosures and contracts with inside SkySoft forms, that these are all fillable. Nice. Then you also have file details here where you could fill it out files details where you could put in all the different information here as well. Add, add different contacts too. So if you want to send it to an escrow person or, or, or Gail, but if she wants to see it as well, you can do it too. Okay. Really um, okay. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> and so, and when you're sending that, I think right now what you were showing is how you were able to send it, um, fill it out and you were showing it as it already went out. That's how the, um, the buyer or seller would be filling it out. Yeah, it, it, it could be either way. If, if they want to, if they want, if the agent wants to fill it, they could do it. If they want to send it like a blank form and the buyer or seller wants to fill it out, they could do it that way as well. It's up okay. to how they've already mapped out their own process and we're, we're not going to change the process. We're going to adapt to it. Okay. Okay. And so if there was, um, cause I know you were filling out, you know, price ranges and whatnot, but if you wanted to sell, um, send it out where they would have um, an area to type a bunch of things out in or, you know, they did want to fill out the price, like they they want to submit an offer and they're still contemplating what that number is, you can send it to them and they can fill in that blank. 
Yeah, you, you would just obviously use a digital signature platform and just use the text box there to kind of put the different numbers they want to, they want to go back and forth with. Okay. This is for obviously when everything seems more set in stone. Yeah. I'm just showing you and you want to just get that packet all nice and neat and professional and make save you all some time when it comes to drafting up your contracts or disclosures. Yeah, right. Um, and I know we have another question here. Um, someone's asking, you know, how can I connect to other wise agent members? I'm new to wise agent and I wanted to um, learn more together. Um, the, the best way I would say for that is to connect um, to our Facebook community. Um, and I think if Sarah from our marketing team or somebody from our marketing team um, could post that link in the chat, I don't have that readily be available to myself right now, but hopefully you guys can, someone from my team can post that in the chat. Um, and then we'll, we'll get you connected with people um, from your area. That is a great way of learning, um, you know, connecting with people either from your area, but also um, outside of your area, you know, maybe a different market and talk about marketing tips, um, what you're doing, and you're really not um, competing with the same people then. Um, so that's always a great way of doing things as well. All right. Um, I don't know if we have any other questions um, out there. I um, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to put it in the Q&A or in the chat section. Um, one thing I did want to, um, to mention is that if you guys are having, because um, I know um, on the, let me go back to one of the, the widget here. So once you, once you connect this, there is one step here before this because I've already activated this account and it already has a login. Um, it's already logged in here in the login state. You can just create that account. And James, can you um, let us know is creating an account is, um, is there a cost to that or is there anything that they need to do? No, so creating, creating the account for the, for the forms and the signature side of things is free. And all you would need, all you would need is uh, obviously email and password. Just, rem just remember an email and password. You, you can create that account from right there and then keep yourself logged in at all times. Okay, awesome. Um, and so, yeah, so just go ahead and you can create that, that account. The widget is absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything to, um, to create this, um, to have this widget. Um, in within Wise Agent, and we're we're really um, happy to provide that to to you guys, to our agents, because I think that's just something that's um, a time saving tool for you to have in order to get um, you know your your listings and your offers in and setting things up for signature. It's um, we try and add as much value as possible, and we're um, we love that um, Sky Slope made that available to um, to you all through us. So. Um, last question here, it looks like, is um, forms. So they are wanting to know where they would see the form. So if they create a SkySlope account from here, James, and then they log into that, where would they be able to go? Um, and I can stop sharing my screen here. Where would they be able to see what, what forms, um, what MLSs and associations you guys are associated with so they can see if their association is on there? Is that something they could see? Of course. Yeah. So within this sky slope form is here. I'm just on my essentially my settings, the user settings. So you have your profile. You can have all your different information. You can obviously put your brokerage you're tied to, what um what state you're you're you work with. So like I mentioned here, big thing with a lot of multiple state yeah. people, Arizona, especially a lot of people close yeah. to the border there. So if I want to add Arizona, California, Nevada, you can add and create your profile this way. Okay. And then when you want, if, if you want to find out if your state have the associations, right, you have add association. So I, ha I have mine I've already connected to. And then I can add all the different ones right here. So this is all the associations or MLSs we're tied to right here. Okay. And then obviously, as we saw with, um, with Houston and with Houston, that once we get the association deal done and signed and we get it all map mapped out, we throw it in here right away for you all. And then we obviously do all the updating for your forms as well that with the associations and MLSs that we're partnered with. So you don't have to worry about if if Tucson Associate of Realtors is coming out with a different um, different form. You know, we, 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 we get that um, pushed through oh. in 24 hours. So that's what we do for you all. Okay. Nice, nice. That's great because that's that's also a thing is that you don't want to worry about you know sending something that's outdated or not relevant no. anymore. So that's awesome that you guys do that. 
All right, awesome. Um, and I see one final question here is, is this being recording, uh, recorded and is it available for future viewings? Absolutely, yes. So you will get a recording of this in your inbox um, pretty soon right after we're done with this call. Zoom processes their things and then um, they, they send out that email. But you can also catch it on Facebook. So if you go to our Facebook page, um, Wise Agents Facebook page, you'll see it there. Um, we are live on Facebook, so you'll be able to see it as well. So um, hopefully that um, answers your question. So, um, and then um, another final question, I keep saying final question, um, with the integration with dot loop, will it take care of those forms too um, as well? So does, um, does dot loop, do you know, I'm not, I'm not all too familiar with dot, how quickly dot loop updates their forms from their associations and MLSs. I'm assuming they would. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine um, they would too. Yeah, I'm assuming so, but I really can't be certain for you, Catherine. So that one might be something that you might we, um, um, want to do um, some research on, so. All right. Well, James, um, this was really insightful. Thank you so much for, for being here and sharing your screen, sharing your information with us. Um, I hope everyone has um, learned a, a quick and easier way to send out um, forms, be it from um, you know, Skyslope that, they're, um, that they have for you in their, um, in their system or any other forms that you might have. You can go ahead and send them out and it's absolutely free to use that tool. Um, and use the widget within Wise Agent. If you um, have any questions, feel free to um, reach out to um, Wise Agent support. You can reach us 24 seven, just at help at wiseagent.com. Um, we're available to you um, 24 seven. So this is our, um, this is going to be our last weekly webinar series that I've been running for the last I don't know, 15, 16 months now. Um, so we're gonna move to transition to monthly webinars because travel is starting to, um, the country's starting to open up a little bit and there's gonna be, um, I'll be traveling quite a bit um, starting in August. So, um, so July, we're gonna have one webinar, July 14th at 10 a.m. with um, coach Mike Stott. And he's gonna be, um, he's a real estate coach at Your Coaching Matters. And he's going to be talking about how a top producing agent in real estate uses um, Wise Agent daily in, um, you know, how they use their CRM daily. So um, that'll be a great conversation with Mike. And um, we're going to be working on providing more, um, more of these webinars. We'll just be doing it on a monthly basis, just based on my travel. So I'll be gone quite a bit in August. So we're going to try and squeeze one in before I take off for for the year again. But um, I hope you guys join on July 14th um, to check that out as well. James, thanks so much for being here. And to everyone at Sky Slope, thank you and everyone watching. Thanks for, for joining us today. We'll see you guys next time.